Hi, Raymond Petrauskas, creator of the local trade copper. So in this video, I want to show you how close by trading operations are handled by the local trade copper. Now, not many traders actually know about the close by operation and not every broker supports that. But let me demonstrate how it works and one of its biggest um, kind of benefit. So let's say I go and open two trades on my account. I open buy trade and sell trade. So this works only for the two opposite trades. Now I got the same trades copied to my trading account as well, the client account. So see that my commissions for these trades will be $38.71 for each trade. So I'm looking at more than $70 commissions for both trades if I close them just like that. And the commissions on my master account are smaller because of the smaller lot size and those are the $10 per, per trade. So if I close trades simple just like that, I will be charged $20 commissions for both trades. But if I double click on the one of those trades, go to the type and choose the close buy and right here in this window I choose the opposite trade order which is buy, buy order in this case and I click close I can see that both of my trades were closed now the same happened on the client account so here's the master account and the account history now here's the those two trades that were recently closed so we can see that one of those trades don't have any commissions it's zero commissions and the other is $10 commission so I was charged $10 commissions for this trade above you can see these other two trades I was recently doing an example as well so those you know those were the same outcome. I just would, I was charged only ten dollar commission for both trades because of that close by operation. And if I go to the client account, I can see the same that I was charged only um, thirty eight dollars only on one trade. The other trade was charged zero commissions. So this kind of saves you commissions on zero uh, on one of the trades when you open like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and find it useful. But yeah, just before we go, I just remember that let me just give you one one more example. If I make one of the trades smaller, let's say like that. So this time I have buy order of one full lot size and sell order of 0.66 lot size. So my sell order is also smaller on the client account as well. Now watch what will happen if I close. So basically I have the same outcome. I was charged commissions only on one of those trades. But because one of the trades was smaller, um, now the sell trade was smaller so it couldn't uh, kind of close fully the buy order so it wasn't big enough to absorb kind of the buy order fully which was one full lot size and you can see the sell was smaller trade so it left the trade reminder running of 0.34 and the same happened on the client account one trade was closed with no commissions and the other was closed only partially basically you know because we have this reminder running and now if I if I even close half of this position even further we can see that client account continues to close position positions partially it's kind of it keeps the relationship be between the master and client trades it doesn't lose the relationship so it's it's really very powerful for the trade copper to allow this type of operations you know because it just doesn't lose and let's see what will happen if we manually close trade on the master account and uh, let's say two times in a row 
So normally any other trade copper would lose the relationship, you know, between these trades. But now I just have two more trades closed manually and my trading tickets changed two times because every time you close position partially, it just kind of changes the, uh, the trading ticket. But this doesn't make my trade copper lose the relationship between the trades. So if I go to my master account, and I close half of the position and then go back to my client I can see that the trade was partially closed once again half of the position and the reminder is still running so the relationship is not lost and if I close the trade fully and go to my client account I can see it was fully closed as well so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and hope you guys learned something about the close buy operation and hopefully you will use that in the future so see you in the next video